Welcome to this introduction of my Amiga 3000 clone project and this is the clone and it's pretty much one to one copy of a revision 9.4 9.3 3000 with the only adding thing is that the int 2 line to the CPU port is done otherwise it's just one to one copy no other stuff changed and this is to get the baseline to work with so if you want to replace your broken board um, and want to have it as original as you can this is the way so uh, this is place for the old ROM tower not really used since revision 4 I think normal kick start and this is flash so I can switch between them and uh, dark ROM and normal kick start and uh, well, see Pram is there yes I know why see Pram this is one to one copy there are people that like this because statogram etc stick column so that's why it's here on this version so does it work that's a good question oh another thing i have as usual also added on board leds because i like it and how wrong and yeah flashy flashy from the SCT SD card I'm using here that takes power from the transmission power and so no power needed quite handy and to my dual monitor setup here this is both are taken from the sticky fixer and it's just using a video doubler you know because this is how I do it when I do repairs so usually I have my PC here and this is my video monitor because as it's a Dell monitor you see it's off screen so you can touch it here and will be fixed but no I don't bother now anyway um, you can switch this one and so both flix fix modes works and yeah uh, which Amiga I don't have any battery installed as you can see uh, so it will be show in 1978 date there but yeah um, I got it populated with 8 megs RAM because that's basically what I had a home at zip then we use system for even if it's crap it tells us the speed at 0.9 mega 3000 as usual on Amiga so for some reason data burst was off doing it again I'm thinking it will not do any more maybe it will be 1.0 with the static long RAM but I don't have it this is normal for 3000 so this is not slower than a original 3000 due to this and uh, we can uh, do some music does it work oh yes it does And, and I spoke to uh, Brightlight at assembly and he asked if it runs his demos so it was can be Brightlight approved so let's test it this takes some time to load it's an o, O20 demo I think OCS but anyway requires 8, eight megs of RAM
Loading, still loading. some editing I will test it with uh, some with uh, first with the uh, sorry three card and then with the 3660 my version one ever built so let's try this editing shit so now I have uh, inserted the fastlink 03 card mostly we can now check that it got more memory because I don't have any scassy more scassy drive and I want to fiddle with this so I wait for scassy so I'm slower boot Start up, do I have more memory? And yes, we have. So, Sorrow 3 works as well. It makes 60 meg on that board. So, that one works as well. Now I will remove the, so the fast lane and put in 3660. Well, I could put it on, still have it on, but wow, well, no. And well, just if that works as well. So now I removed the fast lane and put in my test rig, my 3660, the first ever built with a SIF socket. So this is no 060 adapter, it's just a SIF socket, so I can. Test CPU simple and fair when I buy L60s. And does it work? And it does. Boots. O60. Favorite hate speed test, but well, that's what everyone uses, so yeah. 70 times, yeah, we are there. Kind of works. And yeah, then I guess there's actually only one thing to test, and that is, does this sucker actually fit into the case? So yeah, I guess I had to, again, do some cuts and, uh, and uh, yeah, mount this sucker into a case and show you guys how it fits here and we'll see about that now it's mounted in the case you see it's just mounted and we have keyboard and mouse here and on the back side
and I must confess that I actually will need to move the VGA connector somewhat as it's somewhat off here but this is a release candidate board so it's kind of expected so well it fits and I will release all Gerber files or so later actually I think I will do another take discussing this and well um, the PCBs this is blank one and this is how I will do it this time is simple that I will sell some of those release candidate boards uh, price of 80 euros plus shipping and uh, I've released the new versions and uh, Gerber's and everything at Amiga 34 you can visit my booth there uh, along with the Belgian computer club um, if you are interested you can always ma mail me at chucky at the gang dot mu uh, the boards are available in blue and in black as you can see and some may uh, argue what price that is but okay some hours put in this and this is my old test board uh, that now will be discarded and, and everything I will remove now is a zip ram <laughs> soldered here because I screwed up a little later uh, but yeah the passives worth 100 euros going to down the drain and that's on price and there was some patches needed from the test version and uh, as you can see uh, some of those are actually because I screwed up the RAM as when I was removing one socket and yeah for in a hurry never be in a hurry when you remove stuff it will always eat you and uh, well this is it and while I'm at it I would like you to give comments about uh, what I should change on uh, this board and simple changes forget HDMI and stuff like that give me some hints maybe links to other open projects so can I add a question I have on this board written more or less all signals on every through hole point should I keep them or should I remove them? Also add that in the comments below how I should do that. Of course there are some hidden easter eggs as usual on my PCB. There might be one there somewhere. There might be one on the ground plane as usual. Might be. You never know by me. Anyway, hope you like this one and this project. And see you at Amiga 34.